Okay, good evening, everyone. It's so delightful to see people actually in a lecture hall. <laughs> it's been a while. Um, let, me, let me start with acknowledgement of country. Uh, Griffith University acknowledges the traditional co custodians of the land on which we are meeting and pays respect to the elders past and present and extends that respect to all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. I'm Mike Petraglia, the director of the Australian Research Centre for Human Evolution. Um, I'm pretty new to Brisbane and it's been great to be at Griffith University so far for the last eight or nine months. But I, I could do with some summer, summer weather. <laughs> And, you know, it was really raining out there for the last couple of days, and, and this uh, lecture hall was uh, over, over prescribed. So I understand that people from Brisbane don't like coming out in the rain. So thank you for being here. Uh, so it's great to have everyone. Um, the Australian Research Center for Human Evolution has been around for about five years now, and uh, it's continuing. Uh, uh, in new and different ways, and, and it's, studied to, it's dedicated to the study of our origins. And we have a dynamic group of researchers here at Griffith, and composed of archaeologists, biological anthropologists, geneticists, and rock art specialists. So we're a very interdisciplinary group, and we try to address some of the really important big big picture questions in evolutionary studies, such as, who are we? Where did we come from? Uh, how have we shaped life on Earth? And how has life on Earth shaped us? So we have a lot of, you know, big picture questions. Um, and, uh, you know, we, we really look forward to uh, developing and growing our center over the next few years. We also sponsor the, the Raymond Dart Lecture Series. Raymond Dart is, is a very famous paleoanthropologist uh, that made major discoveries in the 1920s in, in South Africa on hominin fossils, early human fossils. Uh, and the Dart himself was actually born here in Brisbane, and thus the name of this series. And tonight, we are really lucky to have uh, Professor Marco Parasani from the U University of Ferrara, Italy. Marco is quite famous in our field because he's been doing some of the most amazing archaeological work in, it, in Italy and learning so much about our closely related ancestors, the Neanderthals, and also including about our species, Homo sapiens, and the potential interaction between these species. Uh, I think you're going to see an amazing lecture, because he's also discovering some of the most amazing things in the cave sites in which he works in, in, in northern Italy. So uh, without further ado, I'm delighted to pre present Professor Parasani. Thank you, Professor Petraglia. Thank you, dear colleague. And uh, um, good evening to every one of you and uh, dear, <coughs> dear, <coughs> and, uh, dear colleagues. Uh, it's it's a really a, a great pleasure here, uh, to be to be here. And uh, I expected uh, warm. I expected uh, uh, <coughs> to, to to spend the days in a, in a, in a uh, almost hot summer. Not so hot like we had in a, that we had in in, in Italy. But uh, really, I didn't expect this uh, this uh, stormy and, uh, and windy and uh, rainy rainy days. So. Uh, Again, uh, thanks to, to to everyone to to be to be here, and to have this uh, opportunity to uh, learn something about uh, our amazing uh, amazing country, amazing uh, uh, Paleolithic sites, amazing uh, discoveries concerning uh, mostly, especially the Neanderthals, but also the uh, modern humans, the Homo sapiens. Uh, 
who uh, entered, who uh, settled in uh, in, the, in our regions, in uh, in the north of Italy and along the peninsula, uh, well uh, well before than uh, expected, uh, especially if it's uh, our research. Uh, much developed in the last uh, in the last uh, ten years, and uh, uh, now we we can uh, really um, uh, appreciate all the efforts made by our universities, by colleagues from uh, from foreign uh, from foreign countries uh, to to contribute uh, to uh, disclose the the. I cannot say the mystery, but the the, the dark dark points uh, uh, related with the uh, concerned with the, the the possible encounters of the or the first arrival uh, of of Homo sapiens. But uh, we'll uh, focus. Uh, I'll focus in in, in my talk uh, on uh, on Neanderthals, of course. Uh, Neanderthals uh, will take the f first part of the talk, but also also the second part uh, and uh, and the. the the third, third part will be uh, dedicated to the arrival of Homo sapiens and the possible uh, similitudes in uh, behavior, in uh, symbolic behavior, in using uh, using uh, uh, similar items than uh, Neanderthals used. Uh, that Neanderthals used a long time before the arrival of Homo sapiens. But first of all, we start with uh, Neanderthals. So Neanderthals uh, are well known. Uh, also in Italy, luckily, because there were uh, remarkable discoveries, uh, um, important discoveries, uh, already at the, the 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 beginning of the last uh, the last century, and then uh, Neanderthals. Uh, Took took the the sheen the sheen in uh, in uh, in our country and uh, uh, started producing uh, producing uh, important evidence uh, about the concerned with the settlement and the population of uh, of uh, of the Alps of the Apennines. But uh, first of all, uh, before uh, moving to the north of Italy. Uh, I have to spend some some words about about Neanderthals to introduce Neanderthals. Neanderthals were the, the European natives. They uh, they they traces their traces uh, <coughs> the discovery the first discoveries of the traces uh, of their presence uh, dates back to the uh, first half of the uh, 19th century. But it was in the uh, in, around the uh, half of the of the century that the Neanderthals. Where, uh, so that uh, many mm, the, uh, the community of uh, of um, of uh, archaeologists and naturalists uh, and paleontologists uh, realized that uh, uh, another humanity was uh, uh, inhabited inhabited Europe well before our 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 uh, species. Neanderthals also were were discovered in many places in uh, in Europe and uh, also outside Europe in the uh, near east and the far far east uh, in the center of Asia. And uh, since they discovery, they um, attracted um, our view, our imaginary, our thinking, and uh, because of their different uh, shape of the of the of the walls of the of the of the canyon of the skull, uh, they different. Uh, um, the, 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 a certain difference in the in the anatomy, but uh, as you can can see in in, in this slide, there uh, our uh, view, our uh, um, reconstruction, our uh, imaginary of Neanderthals uh, changed a lot in uh, in, uh, in the in the especially after the second uh, during the second half of the last century. Neanderthals uh, so are so attractive because they were <coughs> the real, as I say, the autochthonous of uh, of Europe, and uh, and settled Europe for uh, for a long time since uh, around uh, uh, over uh, four hundred thousand years. So this means that they uh, were able to cope with. Uh, um, glaciations with glacial periods uh, with uh, remarkable marked changes in the uh, uh, ecology in the environment in the geography of uh, of Europe uh, the first traces uh, can be 
detected on the anatomy of the skulls uh, discovered in the Cima de los Huesos in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in Spain, in the Iberian Peninsula, in association with uh, uh, the, the oldest uh, human DNA discovered, uh, discovered, discovered ever. Uh, that, uh, that the, those traces uh, um, tell us that Neanderthals were uh, up appearing in uh, in our in our continent and uh, they um, occupied europe they moved and extended the um, ecological they they range they home range um, Far east, far east, as you can see on the on this map, where uh, the main, the most important findings of classic Neanderthals, which means that uh, Neanderthals are dating to the late Pleistocene, so from uh, started from 130,000 years before present up to their extinction, their disappearance from uh, from uh, our planet uh, around 40,000 years. Uh, uh, every point marks the position of a remarkable important site, uh, yielding uh, human remains, yielding uh, cultural remains. And you can see that they were, they colonized, they uh, um, extended their the home range uh, far east uh, in uh, Central Asia. And this, the traces of these um, movements, of these movements, uh, sometimes are uh, luckily detected uh, thanks to uh, um, um, reliable dating, uh, high resolution in, uh, in, uh, in, in chronology, uh, cultural uh, um, uh, traces of uh, remnants, uh, remnants of uh, cultural material, and, uh, and the human remains, and so on. Uh, the, the slide I'm, I'm showing you is, uh, is a demonstration, it's a clear demonstration that Neanderthals moved, moved and to the to the far east, um, close at the end of the uh, demise, um, bringing uh, bringing a culture, their culture. Uh, this is uh, these are typical uh, typical tools uh, discovered in uh, uh, Altai in the center of uh, Siberia. Uh, these tools uh, were compared are. Uh, uh, were compared with similar tools found in the center of Europe, in Germany, which is now considered the core area of that specific group, that specific Neanderthal wave moving to the east. So they expanded, they colonized the middle range of the middle latitudes and <clears throat> encountered uh, homo sapiens already uh, well well before then the last periods uh, last period uh, leading to the their demise so the neanderthals left clear traces and sometimes complicated traces of their of their life um, most of the uh, of these traces are represented by lithic lithic implements so the technology they used was uh, is well known is called the levallois from a site uh, in, in france from a village in france where where at the end of the 19th century uh, specific particular uh, flakes uh, that are obtained using a specific uh, complicated a uh, complex uh, technique were described and were termed levallois so levallois is uh, now a, a, a well-known term, uh, a well-known technology which corresponds to a, a well-known technology, uh, easily replicated, replicated by archaeologists, uh, well uh, um, deeply and uh, carefully investigated and uh, analyzed by um, by, by uh, different teams of archaeologists, uh, which uh, that have the. Uh, also, the possibility to compare these uh, these uh, technologies uh, in different periods in different regions. Uh, uh, this uh, this technology was uh, 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 um, 
uh, uh, an, uh, an effective uh, tool to obtain uh, cutting, uh, cutting, uh, cutting uh, flakes, uh, to, uh, to exploit at the best the uh, chert, the knappable stones. They were able to uh, provision and to collect in the, in the, in the land that they, they inhabited. So they were geologists uh, because they knew, uh, they perfectly knew the uh, knapping properties knappable properties of the of the of many of the stones exploited for a long longer time uh, uh, the levallois was a, a also a flexible method. Uh, thanks to this method and to this flexibility, the Neanderthals were able to modulate the length, the the uh, the cutting properties of the of the flakes, and uh, many of these. Uh, uh, of these uh, uh, variabilities are well recorded, especially in the uh, last, uh, in the last, uh, in the late Pleistocene, in the last, uh, in the last uh, ten thousand, uh, uh, a few uh, ten thousand years of the Neanderthals, uh, Neanderthals life. Now, Neanderthals also uh, used other uh, flaking. Uh, flaking knapping methods uh, like uh, this uh, so-called uh, discoid. So these are, all these methods are proxy for, the, for uh, detecting the presence of Neanderthals in, uh, in Europe, uh, also outside, outside Europe, but uh, not, uh, for instance, in the, in the north of Africa and the Near East, because in the, those regions where uh, North Africa was uh, never settled by Neanderthals, Near East was settled also by modern humans, and both Neanderthals and modern humans used the same technology for a long, long time and during the late Pleistocene. So it could be intriguing uh, and uh, challenging uh, to compare the uh, use of this uh, technology between uh, more Neanderthals and modern humans. Now at the moment uh, we are uh, certain that uh, Levallois was um, um, Invented the problem, invented by Neanderthals in, in Europe, because in Europe we have the there are the oldest uh, uh, dates about the Levallois. But Neanderthals also invented this uh, this technology, which is a bit different, and it uh, it allows us to exploit at the best the um, blocks, and the cobbles of of a flint. Uh, of a chert, uh, and in some cases, as uh, as in this, uh, on the, as you can see in this on this slide, we have the op opportunity to reconstruct, reconstruct, refit the, each each uh, flake after a flake, uh, to reconstruct the original volume of the cobble of the chert cobble, and understand uh, and reconstruct the um, the. Um, the um, the way they exploited these uh, these uh, these raw materials, the, these uh, cobbles, to uh, to have uh, uh, an estimation of their uh, ability uh, to uh, knap at best and to uh, produce uh, uh, tools uh, with the cutting edges uh, for their daily life, but. Uh, Sometimes we debate about uh, the um, flexibility and the, of the Neanderthals in uh, uh, provisioning uh, raw material for uh, the lithic uh, industries. And uh, in, in, in recent, uh, after recent uh, investigations, for instance in Italy, uh, we realized that Neanderthals also recycled, recycled old uh, stone tools uh, uh, alterated, patinated, uh, with uh, 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 which lost the original uh, core, but they were they were well um, provisionable and collectible uh, during the uh, Neanderthal trips uh, in uh, in uh, in, uh, in the in the regions in the territory where inhabited. So this is a nice uh, a nice uh, aspect, uh, telling us that this, that recycling uh, uh, already started long long time ago and not uh, not in the in the in the, in our historical times. Uh, Neanderthals were able, as I said, to to cope with uh, um, with uh, uh, natural 
context, a natural environment, a natural uh, climatic changes, uh, uh, glaciation, glacial, uh, glacial ages, uh, and, and because they um, were able to uh, organize the uh, space, the space where I, they, they, they lived, uh, the, to, to light on and to produce uh, fire. Fire was uh, discovered, the traces of, um, how do you say, the traces of the production of fire uh, now in Europe date back to 500,000 years, so, so well before the Neanderthals. And more and more we move, we move uh, to the Neanderthal time, we record, we archaeologists record, a high increasing number of uh, fireplaces and the, sometimes the uh, uh, <coughs> careful, um, so uh, sometimes an, an attention given uh, to protect the fireplace, uh, like you can see on the, in the top, uh, top right of this, of this slide. So they, uh, um, Adapted, were um, adapted to the different environments where they, they, they in the different uh, regions and uh, ecological context where they lived, and uh, the general view, our uh, traditional view about the Neanderthals diet. Uh, was uh, is based on the fauna remains uh, that many archaeologists, uh, since the first excavations in the, at the end of the 19th century, um, carried out and uh, gave them the, port the opportunity to uh, uh, to recover the fauna remains, uh, bearing uh, showing uh, cut marks, uh, so uh, traces of anthropic modification or traces of the exploitation of the of the, of the fauna. Uh, they were able to hunt uh, uh, mammoth, uh, to hunt uh, uh, woolly rhino, uh, to hunt uh, uh, all the the animals. Uh, the the they they encountered during the in the territory. But uh, recently, uh, thanks to developments in, uh, in uh, research, in uh, geochemical research, in, uh, in uh, residues research, in uh, use wear traces of uh, dentition and so on, uh, our community can, can support the idea, can support the hypothesis that Neanderthals also <coughs> uh, um, exploited the plants, uh, exploited uh, exploited uh, uh, vegetables uh, to um, integrate the 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 diet based on the consumption of meat. Uh, so this is a a, a nice uh, a nice uh, step in uh, advancement in uh, in uh, in uh, worldwide research uh, focused on uh, on Neanderthals, and uh, thanks also to famous discoveries um, occurred recently in, uh, in Germany, for instance, <coughs> we can also uh, tell about, uh, uh, about uh, Neanderthal technique, hunting techniques, uh, Neanderthal, uh, this uh, predatory aptitude uh, Neanderthals uh, had. Uh, because uh, in uh, Schöningen, uh, this uh, famous uh, site in the, in the center north of Germany, uh, during a, a peat bog quarried uh, from uh, in uh, at a large extension, in the mid of the 70s, uh, archaeologists discovered uh, long uh, spears, wooden spears, associated to. Um, Remnants to um, horses, uh, bones of horses. So these uh, these pairs are now uh, m m multiple uh, findings. So the, after the first discoveries, the new excavations continue, continue producing uh, uh, interesting and uh, unique findings. And now these pairs are uh, exposed at the Paleon, uh, near, near the, the site. But you see the date, uh, 300, 300 uh, almost 340,000 years. So this means that the Neanderthals settled in, this, in that area during a so-called interglacial period, so a period 
lasting uh, for 40,000 years, uh, uh, which gave the opportunity to expand their niche, their uh, home range uh, uh, up to that uh, uh, la to those latitudes. Uh, normally, uh, basically, Neanderthals uh, hunted uh, uh, giant deer. Years in the Alps, in the mountain ranges, they hunted the ibex, uh, chamois, and so on. Uh, they uh, in in our in our country they uh, used the small cavities at mid altitude in the Alps, uh, up to one uh, one one thousand five hundred meters, and sometimes more. Where archaeologists uh, discover, like in this case. Uh, uh, in this uh, in this cave uh, used by cave bears, uh, this, they discover also sometimes uh, some isolated uh, um, tools. In this case, uh, the tools were produced uh, using a chert, a local chert, uh, and uh, knapped using the Levallois technology. This is uh, one of the last uh, mountain sites of the Neanderthals in uh, in, uh, in our Alps. Uh, Alps. And now I take. Uh, I take uh, this. Uh, this uh, um, I, I, I take the point uh, to, uh, on on Grotta di Fumane. Grotta di Fumane is a famous, a remarkable site, a flagship for the for the uh, Paleolithic, Middle and Upper Paleolithic in uh, in, uh, in Italy, in uh, north of Italy. As, as uh, it uh, it is a reference site for the, the the region. I don't know if you are familiar with uh, with our. Uh, Beautiful region, but uh, maybe you see the Lagoon of Venice, uh, our uh, amazing and uh, unique town, uh, is the capital of the region where where I work, uh, and uh, and the region where there are many many important uh, the middle Paleolithic and upper Paleolithic sites. So. Um, giving us the possibility, the, the possibility to reconstruct the environment, the ecological context, uh, the geographical uh, changes and modifications. <coughs> this region uh, new for a long, long time during the late Pleistocene. You see the position of uh, Fumana near the Garda Lake, uh, the position of uh, other important sites, and other sites are uh, in, uh, in, uh, in Croatia and in, uh, in, uh, in Slovenia. So uh, this is a key, a key region, uh, was a key region during the Pleistocene because uh, during the lowering of the Adriatic Sea, the uh, contact between the two sides were uh, de developed. And, uh, and so the, this gave, um, gave the opportunity to form and to move to, to, move to the west and, uh, and also to, um, to uh, the first anatomically modern humans. So uh, Fumane, uh, as I said, is a remarkable site because uh, it um, contains and preserves an impressive sequence of layers going back, back in time down to 200,000 years. It, uh, I can say, finally I can say this because uh, thanks to um, uh, colleagues from Adelaide University, we have the possibility to, uh, uh, to uh, consolidate the, um, uh, to secure the chronology of this uh, remarkable uh, stratigraphic sequence. The lowermost layers uh, date back, as I said, 200,000 years, but the arrow point, points to the uh, to an, an important uh, set of layers recording this, the, the presence of the last Neanderthals uh, who used the cave uh, for uh, 10,000 years, about uh, 10,000 years, and the first uh, Homo sapiens, uh, the first anatomically modern humans uh, who entered uh, in, the, in, this, in this area about uh, for, uh, 41,000 years. So Fumane is a, a remarkable example of, uh, of, uh, of uh, um, recording at high resolution, uh, thanks to the number of layers, to the amount of uh, organic material uh, useful for uh, for radiocarbon datings, and uh, thanks to the thanks to the. Uh, excellent uh, degree of preservation of uh, bones and uh, other uh, structures uh, like hearts and so on. We uh, disclose 
year after year doing our lucky file work. So um, in, in Fumana, for instance, we have, uh, we have um, discovered, made important discoveries concerning the, um, the Neanderthal diet and the Neanderthal predatory aptitude. Neanderthal uh, hunted uh, bears and cave bears, which is uh, almost a unique, uh, unique evidence for our country, but it is not the unique if we look at the rest of Europe, but it remains a very rare, very, um, very um, uh, rarely um, uh, documented. So, uh, uh, so I, we, we hope that in the future new, new uh, evidence will be produced by other sites compared with, uh, with the Fumane. Cave bears and, and bears and brown bears uh, yielded uh, meat yielded the fur, yielded the uh, marrow for uh, for uh, for nutrition of uh, of Neanderthals, but also in this cave uh, we uh, realized that about uh, ten uh, ten years ago that Neanderthals hunted uh, birds, and uh, and uh, you have to to know that uh, uh, until uh, the uh, First decade of the of the new century, uh, uh, the evidence in Europe, uh, this type of evidence in Europe, uh, telling that, uh, demonstrating that Neanderthals uh, were able to uh, enlarge their diet by hunting through hunting uh, uh, birds, uh, was uh, uh, was not so developed, not so expected than uh, than uh, than in the last uh, in the second decade. Um, evidence from Spain, from uh, the east coast of Spain, and from Fumane contributed to, to uh, enlarge and uh, develop our, our view and refresh our view on the uh, these Neanderthals. Aptitudes, and this is uh, also has been funny demonstrated not only the, by the uh, cut marks and the uh, gro uh, grooves uh, you see on the on the bones of this uh, of this um, um, of this uh, bird, but also on a, 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 a unique finding, uh, which is a residue, uh, a barbule uh, of a uh, of a feather. feather uh, discovered still added on the uh, cutting edge of a, of a, of a tool uh, dating back to around 50,000 years. So this is a paper we published recently, just uh, uh, one month ago, and uh, I expected a so long time because uh, the tool uh, was uh, selected for the analysis uh, six years ago. Then uh, they discovered this barbule, uh, demonstrating that uh, the, the, the birds were butchered and exploited at the site. And then at the end, we were able to, to publish this, uh, this paper. Now at the moment is uh, one of the oldest evidence of, uh, of um, um, this type of residues in, uh, uh, we know in, uh, in the Paleolithic in, uh, in, in Europe. But uh, now we move to the second important part, the core of my talk, which, uh, which focuses on the Neanderthal uh, symbolic behavior. So Neanderthal behavior not uh, strictly related on the uh, on uh, on the daily life, uh, on the on the feeding, uh, on the on the on the um, production of uh, of uh, of tools. So uh, just to, to introduce this uh, second part, I I like to to show you this uh, nice uh, drawing. Um, made by uh, Burian, uh, uh, a paleo artist, uh, uh, who in the 50s uh, um, imaged the Neanderthal, uh, grasping, a, holding, uh, holding a, a sparrow hook, and uh, um, and a, a digging stick, probably a, a, a wood a wood a wood stick. Um, it's a, a wood stick, probably a digging stick. Um, it, this is surprising because at the time uh, archaeology, archaeological evidence didn't produce, um, didn't produce uh, data 
enough to support the uh, hypothesis, the idea that uh, Neanderthals hunted uh, raptors and uh, used wood as a, as a tool. Uh, the discovery of the spear, spears uh, in uh, Schöningen occurred, as I said, in the mid of the 70s. So these paleoartists uh, imaged the Neanderthals like this. But uh, after almost uh, 60 years, we can confirm that uh, Neanderthals uh, uh, exploited uh, uh, raptors and, uh, and uh, uh, to, to, to take uh, feathers, to take uh, parts and uh, like, uh, like clothes, uh, uh, to use them as, um, as um, ornaments. This, our, this is our hypothesis. But before moving to this um, part, to this, uh, um, this part of the talk, uh, I start uh, showing you and telling you about uh, the current available evidence of uh, uh, Neanderthal symbolic behavior. So Neanderthals uh, started to uh, use shells to leave traces on uh, cave walls, on uh, different types, different items, uh, uh, around uh, during the last interglacial, around uh, 120,000 years or 90,000 years. Um, and uh, the, our community um, never realized, so n n was, uh, how do you say, split into, um, into, into different groups uh, supporting this idea, rejecting this idea, and uh, this, uh, this uh, hypothesis, this view uh, fooled uh, a, warm, a warm debate, and the debate uh, uh, raised, especially at the end of the 90s, when a couple of colleagues uh, started uh, reanalyzing, uh, reviewing the evidence, the available evidence at the time, and uh, started uh, um, um, stimulating our community to go ahead and to go deep, deep in uh, in uh, research, in investigation, and uh, in uh, in studies, and uh, also discoveries concerning with uh, this specific uh, uh, aspect of the Neanderthal behavior. Uh, Neanderthals uh, use the uh, ochre, use the uh, manganese oxide, so they were uh, interested and they targeted these uh, materials. To, to get a powder, uh, we we partly know or can uh, uh, can think uh, which was the use of this powdered uh, pigment, red pigment or black pigment. Black pigment was used in majority and more often than uh, red pigment. Normally, we know that uh, um, ochre is also used. To, uh, to prepare skins in the, in the treatment of skins or furs, but also is uh, used as, uh, as, uh, um, as, uh, as uh, for uh, uh, depictions of the, of the body, of the, of, the, of the tools and so on. And traces of ochre were discovered on, uh, in, on, uh, on some shells. These are, uh, this is a, a slide showing the shells uh, discovered in uh, a famous site in the south of Iberia. Um, before, uh, before the reliable datings of these, uh, of these, uh, of these sediments uh, containing these shells, uh, we thank, uh, the archaeologists uh, uh, think that uh, this material uh, dated back to 40,000 years, but uh, recently uh, a new dating program um, <clears throat> demonstrated, demonstrated that uh, the use of these shells collected along the uh, Mediterranean Sea shore uh, dates back, goes back to 100, uh, almost 120,000 years. So, so during uh, interglacial time when the, the sea level was uh, approximately at the same position than, uh, than, uh, than today. And uh, that was a, a, a nice discovery uh, published on uh, relevant papers by, by uh, Spanish and Portuguese uh, colleagues. Um, 
supporting and stimulating our idea that Neanderthals were interested in using shells uh, naturally perforated, like in this case, as a containers for pigments or as a, as a, um, uh, ornaments on uh, to 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 to, <coughs> to mount and to to kept on display. Uh, this is the case of a relevant discovery we did in uh, in Fumana. In Fumana, again, as I said, uh, again, uh, there are surprises each year after the excavation, and especially in the post-excavation uh, time, we realize that in uh, in the sediments uh, can be can be preserved some uh, some important uh, findings and some important material. Now we we are dealing with uh, Aspa marginata. Aspa marginata is a fossil gastropod. Uh, it, it, its, uh, its age goes back to the Pliocene, so millions of years ago, and was uh, collected on a on a on a um, rock exposure in the south of the Po Plain. So the, this means that Neanderthals covered about 100 kilometers for uh, collecting this material or changing this uh, item with other Neanderthal group living in the south of, of our, our, uh, our plane. And, uh, and uh, this, uh, this shell uh, was, uh, was published in 2013. And it's the unique, unique finding discovered in a, in a blackish layer. You see the star there, uh, dating back to around 48,000 years. And uh, 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 <coughs> a detailed inspection, a detailed investigation of the shell uh, 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 revealed, detected the uh, presence of residues of ochre, the presence of uh, a palimpsest of a striations producing, produced using a, a rope uh, to to hang to hang. Uh, this is our hypothesis to engage the shell, and um, all this means that uh, Neanderthals uh, used the fossils. Uh, fossil shells, and different than uh, the Homo sapiens. Uh, did in the same site a uh, few thousand years after. And this is important finding because uh, it tells that uh, Neanderthals uh, targeted, used the specific items uh, differently than, uh, than modern humans uh, and covered the long distances to, to collect this, uh, this material. Collecting. Uh, collecting material is uh, a well-known evidence for archaeologists. It's a rare occurrence, but archaeologists have never denied the uh, uh, interest of Neanderthals to collect fossils, to use a specific and particular um, uh, 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 rocks uh, to, to make uh, tools. Uh, uh, you see a biface with a, with a fossil in the, in the middle. You see uh, a rock in the, in, the co in the center of the slide uh, discovered in Krapina, a site in Croatia uh, dating, uh, dating back to 120,000 years. And this uh, stone was uh, published a, a few years ago by anthropologists uh, who realized that the stone was, uh, uh, was different than the stones uh, composing, making, uh, composing the sediment. So it was a, 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 a stone taken by Neanderthals. Probably they 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 they, they saw some uh, dendrital dendrital um, uh, remains. Uh, saw some characteristics uh, they appreciated. But we know that Neanderthals appreciated, and uh, this is uh, again in Fumana, and appreciated the uh, green green rocks, serpentinite rocks, metamorphic rocks. And this is a unique finding because uh, uh, I remember when uh, my former director started digging in Fumana, we discovered uh, the pebble you see in the, in the right part of the slide, uh, the, the pebble in the top, uh, flat, nice, beautiful, a very beautiful pebble. And he, he given the fact that uh, the pebble was discovered in a marmot barrow, he thought that the pebble was uh, imported by modern humans, by Homo sapiens, uh, coming from the western part of the north of Italy, where these, uh, rock, these rocks are well uh, known, well, uh, well exposed. And, uh, and uh, at the end, uh, 
um, during our excavation of a, a layer recording the presence of Neanderthals uh, around 44, 45,000 years, we discovered uh, other uh, five green, beautiful pebbles. And so we, we think that uh, the, the pebble I just described was a part of this group, given it was found in a reworked uh, sediment. So we cannot, uh, we cannot uh, um, secure the idea that uh, it, it, it was uh, used by modern humans. But the other pebbles, especially this one, were found in a clear context, uh, uh, in a clear Neanderthal context. And this is a, uh, um, and we much appreciated this uh, this finding because uh, it's really unique. Uh, the first time we have uh, uh, we have uh, uh, a view on uh, Neanderth on Neanderthals. Neanderthals uh, um, were attracted, or, or at least those Neanderthals were attracted by green color, by the green these green uh, green pebbles. They use it to uh, to to work bones. So uh, it was a, really a, a specific a specific finding, uh, telling us that. Um, uh, the, those Neanderthals uh, were different, uh, so had a, had a, a, a different uh, um, a different uh, um, sensitivity to 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 the color of stones that uh, that the Neanderthals that uh, used the cave uh, in uh, in the time uh, in the times before. Um, you have to know that the serpentinite is a well-known rock. Uh, uh, used by Homo sapiens in the Upper Paleolithic, especially in our regions, especially in the western part of the north of Italy. Uh, more, many, many, uh, many Venuses were carved and sculpted using serpentinite. Uh, so it means that uh, the color of this rock was much appreciated also by Homo sapiens and later in time by Neolithic people and so on. So, uh, continuing our tour on Neanderthals, on Neanderthal, uh, on Neanderthal uh, uh, this specific Neanderthal behavior, uh, you know that Neanderthals uh, uh, buried their relatives, uh, especially uh, young, uh, young people, uh, young individuals, uh, uh, and uh, this, uh, the, uh, the evidence of uh, burial or, or burials is unfortunately um, was unfortunately uh, produced a uh, uh, long time ago uh, in the the last uh, burial Neanderthal burial was discovered in uh, 1993. Now uh, methodologies for uh, um, excavation and especially for uh, excavating uh, this type of uh, uh, of, uh, of uh, findings have uh, much improved, and uh, uh, recently I took part of an excavation of a, um, of a, of a, of a female baby um, uh, dating back to 10,000 years, or so dating back to the to the Mesolithic. Uh, and uh, during that excavation, uh, we uh, uh, our team. Um, uh, was uh, was very careful in the excavating, in the excavation, and uh, in uh, in the sampling of the, of the sediment. The sediment was a sample for DNA and so on. So that's the problem for Neanderthal burials. Neanderthal burials were discovered uh, uh, at the beginning of the 20th century. Then the last one was discovered, as, as I said, in the 1993. And uh, much, uh, much documentation, many aspects of the uh, archaeological documentation were we can say uh, lost or unconsidered at that time. So uh, a debate raised about uh, the, uh, the uh, reality of this evidence. Uh, but uh, you have to know that uh, uh, the Neanderthals buried uh, their relatives in, uh, in pits. Uh, uh, they uh, associated their relatives with burial, with burial goods, uh, like, uh, like um, boulders with, uh, with the coopers, uh, like uh, 
beautiful uh, scrapers, uh, or uh, in this, uh, sorry, or like in these cases uh, <coughs> uh, with uh, stones and uh, flint flakes, or um, or our uh, our horns and so on. So. Um, uh, <coughs> These individuals were buried, accompanied by burial, burial, burial goods. And Neanderthals uh, had an attention uh, to their relatives because they practiced cannibalism. Uh, recently, uh, important evidence uh, was produced at El Cidron in Spain, uh, dating back to almost 50,000 years. Uh, Moula Kersi, 100,000 years, uh, and Krapina and, uh, and Goyer uh, recently saw so many, uh, many sites in Europe uh, yielded uh, cut market uh, uh, Neanderthal uh, um, bones. Uh, and uh, and uh, like in the case of Sidron, uh, the, 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 the bones, especially the long bones, uh, were fragmented to, take the, to recover the marrow and so on. So, uh, using uh, cutting uh, stone tools, Neanderthals uh, left uh, notches uh, regularly spaced on a uh, few, few uh, bones in very rare cases in, uh, discovered in, uh, in Europe. And uh, uh, this is a case. Uh, this uh, this bone was discovered a long time ago, but then was uh, reanalyzed, reconsidered by uh, archaeologists, and the archaeologists made different tests to um, and uh, detailed the studies. Especially, first of all, they uh, um, detailed the screening of these uh, these notches to uh, um, to understand to reconstruct the the sequence of the notches uh, to um, uh, check if the notches were made using the same tool or different tools and so on. But now these uh, materials, uh, especially uh, this one and uh, also this uh, uh, engraved uh, uh, raven bone, it was an humerus uh, found in a site, an important site, but no so uh, much considered than he, he deserves, it deserves. Um, these, uh, these, uh, the notches were also produced uh, on this, uh, on this uh, humerus. And this material is under the focus of an important project uh, headed by Professor Francesco De Rico, and, uh, uh, a, a famous uh, uh, scientist, a famous archaeologist uh, based in Bordeaux, who uh, is, uh, is uh, heading an important project uh, uh, focusing on the uh, um, numbering or the uh, capacity to uh, uh, computate and to uh, mark computations on, uh, on bones by Neanderthals and, uh, uh, in any case, in, uh, in uh, in early time in our in our uh, in our evolution, uh, <clears throat> but uh, to enrich to add the new evidence about uh, concerned with a sort of a, uh, art artistic behavior or symbolic behavior, uh, it's a great pleasure to 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 show this slide for me because. Uh, it's, uh, it's uh, the phalanx of a giant deer, so a big, big bone uh, of, a, of a big deer uh, discovered in a, in, a, in a cave in the north of Germany. Uh, the layer was dated to uh, 51,000 years um, before present. And uh, in this uh, slide, on this slide, uh, also on the reconstruction uh, in the in the lower part of the slide, you see this uh, cross crisscross pattern, uh, which was also replicated by archaeologists. Um, this is a unique finding. So we have no comparable items in the uh, rest of Europe in the Middle Paleolithic period, in the period of Neanderthals. And uh, uh, it uh, it uh, uh, it confirms uh, some uh, crisscross patterns uh, uh, um, 
studied, analyzed, and published by colleagues from Gibraltar in the south of the Iberian Peninsula, uh, who uh, saw this uh, pattern engraved on the on the floor of a, in the rear of a, of a cave. You see the location of the engraving, and the indirect dating of this uh, of this engraving goes back to the last thousand years of Neanderthals. But uh, um, after that uh, discovery, uh, somebody raised the doubts, raised the criticism, especially paleontologists uh, who, uh, who uh, proposed a different interpretation, for instance, uh, cave bears, uh, uh, <coughs> grooving, uh, grooving uh, cave walls, uh, uh, and uh, producing a similar crisscross patterns, uh, uh, comparable, apparently comparable with uh, with those uh, with that one uh, um, described in uh, in uh, in Gibraltar, and uh, so this is a, a common a common situation so because uh, um, Neanderthals left clear traces, but sometimes traces are uh, debatable, are not uh, not a secure, uh, not so securely investigated, not so securely documented. Uh, for a long time, uh, our community was uh, split into two. Uh, mostly didn't believe that uh, these uh, perforated uh, uh, Tibia of a young cave bear was uh, a flute, was a musical instrument used by last Neanderthals uh, um, uh, settled in uh, in uh, Slovenia, so near the border with Italy. And uh, uh, a paleontologist and many others uh, demonstrated, uh, successfully demonstrated that the perforations were natural. Uh, there is, uh, there are no traces of uh, human manipulation, and that uh, the uh, perforations were produced by um, uh, hyena, cave hyena, uh, 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 during the uh, splitting, uh, fragment, fragment, during splitting and fragmenting of, uh, of bones to recovery marrow and so on. So this is a typical finding uh, you can um, you can have in uh, in uh, hyena den in uh, in many sites in uh, in Europe, and the debate uh, is uh, is is much uh, much uh, is uh, is always uh, filled and warm, uh, especially concerning the so-called Chatel Peronian. The Castel Peronian is a specific uh, uh, cultural species. Uh, in, uh, uh, defined in uh, in France, in Western France, uh, where uh, the uh, human remains, Neanderthal remains, exclusive remains, are uh, were found, were recovered, associated with these uh, these uh, uh, perforated teeth or grooved, engra engraved, uh, grooved teeth, and so on, and. Uh, <clears throat> At the time, it was the, the mid of the 90s, uh, um, Jean-Jacques Houblain, the anthropologist who studied the human remains, uh, supported the idea that uh, the hypothesis that uh, Neanderthals were, uh, weren't the makers of this material, but the material was uh, produced by uh, was uh, gave them by modern humans uh, who already settled in the in the area. But uh, there are many many um, incertitudes about the Chateau Peronian, about the the sites, the uh, the the key sites, in uh, in uh, uh, still uh, still uh, still again. But now we move to to birds, to uh, big raptors, to feathers, and to eagle claws, to the uh, materials, the the, the items and Neanderthals uh, uh, were able to 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 take from uh, from the capture and the hunting of uh, big big raptors. The uh, the big discovery occurred in the uh, the big paper occurred in, in 2011. 2011 in uh, in Fumane. Uh, in Fumane, we discovered the many bird bones because, as I said, of the abundance of uh, material of the uh, bone of the bird bones and the um, and the uh, excellent degree of preservation. This is a, 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 a picture showing uh, uh, the bones of a of a. Um, 
of a small beard, a black feathered beard, uh, found still partly articulated. Uh, these are the bones of a, of a, of a, of a wing, and the bones bear traces of a new wing uh, and, this, and, the, of, uh, uh, and some cut marks. But cut marks were discovered uh, on the, the wing bones of uh, big vultures, the, the biggest uh, in, uh, still, uh, still uh, in, uh, in, uh, existing in, in Europe. The bearbed bear bear vulture uh, has, uh, has been reintroduced in the Alps, has been uh, uh, repopulated our, our, our regions, our alpine range. And uh, it is uh, an impressive uh, uh, um, bird, uh, very, very uh, with uh, with uh, long wings. Uh, the cut marks uh, you you see are well well uh, shown on the on the slide. The barbed vulture uh, attracted people, attracted the shepherd, shepherds, and attracted people all over all over the the world. And uh, was uh, got extinct in the in the Alps, and luckily was reintroduced in the last uh, tens of years. And uh, uh, thanks to a rehabilitation center, we have the we had the opportunity to replicate the the cut marks to understand and to reconstruct the technique used by Neanderthals to uh, uh, partition the wings, uh, to take the longest uh, remix of feathers, so the most spectacular, and we compared these traces with the uh, archaeological, uh, archaeological material. Uh, demonstrated that Neanderthals uh, undermined the, each feather, each long feather, the feathers uh, are 70 centimeters long, uh, to uh, take and to carefully remove the, the feathers. Uh, other other um, evidence was produced uh, um, by uh, yielded by um, bones, uh, wing bones of the red foot, uh, foot of the falc falcon, another another uh, raptor. Uh, this evidence was uh, detected uh, a few years after the first important evidence. But many many birds, especially these uh, uh, many birds uh, um, of uh, many remain remnants of uh, alpine uh, shaft. Uh, bear uh, traces, especially, particularly these uh, two urne with uh, clear cut marks um, around, left around uh, the points where the, uh, the feathers uh, uh, grasp, where the feathers are uh, um, connected to the bone. Uh, we also tried to uh, take feathers by handling, but uh, it was impossible, especially for the big vultures, but uh, it, uh, 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 all the birds <coughs> Uh, we discovered in Fumane, uh, uh, we had the possibility to replicate and uh, to do experimentation thanks to these rehabilitation centers and the collaboration with natural parks. So the evidence uh, clearly tells that Neanderthals were interested in targeted remix feathers. Remix feathers are the longest, uh, but, uh, in the, in the, the longest <coughs> feathers of, uh, of each bird. And uh, um, just uh, one year after, uh, colleagues from Gibraltar um, confirmed this evidence and uh, got and produced a paper, an ensemble of papers, uh, demonstrating that uh, also Neanderthals living in that uh, part of the south of Spain uh, recovered the feathers about the same birds. So Neanderthals were interested and targeted birds uh, with uh, grayish, blackish feathers. And, uh, and uh, our interpretation was that uh, we, we, we proposed our interpretation that feathers were used to adorn themselves, or to adorn part of the body, part of the, of the, of the, of the furniture they, they, they were, they, 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 they dressed. Uh, this is uh, uh, the, the, cover, the cover of a paper we published in Italy. Italy is a, a country of a fashion. Why, uh, why, uh, why excluding that also Neanderthals were sensitive to, to to, to our to, to fashion and so Italy Italy is so known so so well known so uh, Italians uh, and, and many and many other colleagues have, have appreciated this uh, this uh, this nice evidence which uh, was uh, reinforced 
by uh, an, in, an unexpected discovery uh, we, and not only we, made uh, in the last uh, 10 years. Before, be, before uh, I can say before 2012, 2013, uh, our community didn't think, was not so prepared to thinking that Neanderthals uh, hunted the eagles and uh, took the claws from these eagles. This was a really nice discovery. The uh, bony core of an eagle claw uh, you see on the slide is a cut mark. You see the groove, you clearly see the groove uh, shown by the yellow arrows. This groove was replicated by us by uh, using uh, experimental, um, doing experimentation. Uh, of course, this is the archaeological finding, and we did experimentation on the different uh, um, species of uh, bigger reptiles. And uh, this groove uh, clearly demonstrates that Neanderthals uh, were interested, targeted the, the claw. They uh, were interested to separate and to take the claw from the uh, eagle, eagle, eagle foot. And uh, this was the first finding uh, discovered in Fumane and published in 2004, but uh, nobody took care of that, uh, of that, uh, of that material uh, until the discovery of uh, other other bony, bony cores from uh, Grotte Combe Grenal, Le Fieu, Grotte de Rio Seco in Italy, in south of France, uh, and then in, uh, in, uh, in Croatia. Uh, in uh, Combe Grenal, Le Fieu goes back in time to 90,000 years. So uh, they clearly demonstrated that Neanderthals started targeting this material, so taking and uh, collecting this material uh, since the, uh, during the late, uh, late Pleistocene, or at least after the last interglacial. And here you have a, a nice view of the, of the uh, present day uh, sites. I have to add uh, Cueva Foradada in the Eastern Pyrenees, where the, uh, another, another bony, another uh, item was discovered. You have uh, 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 um, uh, some, uh, some selected items. Uh, you know that the longest uh, the, is. Uh, it was discovered in Grotte Mandren. You see the yellow arrow in the south of France. And uh, Grotte Mandren uh, is uh, under excavation since a long time, has uh, produced a remarkable evidence of the Neanderthal uh, set settlements and the first Homo sapiens. But recall, rec remember that uh, that uh, that uh, that cloud because I'll. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll come back. I'll come back uh, uh, on that uh, on that item uh, at the end of my at the end of my talk. But uh, we can now we continue to uh, and uh, we go to uh, to to present the the famous uh, the famous uh, clouds found in uh, in Krapina. You have to know that uh, these. Uh, uh, bony cores were discovered at the beginning of the last century. Uh, luckily, the uh, archaeologists and the paleontologists uh, uh, um, were careful in uh, taking and uh, preserving this material. This material was lost and uh, uh, not lost, was uh, uh, forbidden for one century, almost one century in the drawers, in the deposit, in the, in the warehouse of the, of the Zagreb. Um, Academy of, of Science, and then after our discoveries and they publish and the papers published by by colleagues by French colleagues, the Croatian paleontologists, the Croatian the paleontologists from Zagreb reopened the drawers, and uh, analyzed these uh, findings, these items, and saw the same traces we noted. In, uh, in our in our items, and uh, ex exceptionally, they also uh, detected the presence of a, um, of a um, animal tissue, as a fiber made of animal tissue, uh, still preserved on the articulation face uh, of the of the bony core. Uh, so this. Uh, 
was a, is a, is a clear was a clear demonstration. The paper was published uh, three four years ago. Uh, demonstration that, that this material was uh, uh, on display was uh, um, uh, hung it and uh, and uh, also uh, probably colored because archaeologists uh, detected the traces of uh, ochre on uh, one uh, on one face of this uh, of this uh, uh, finding so they um, supported the idea that uh, the the hypothesis that neanderthals were really interested to uh, eagle to bigger raptors and uh, and to Take take off uh, part of these uh, of these raptors, and uh, this uh, uh, <coughs> stimulates our 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 view our our consideration of uh, Neanderthals of the uh, relation with uh, with uh, uh, with the bigger raptors. Uh, uh, Big raptors uh, um, representing uh, majesty, highness, swift, with swiftness, uh, uh, which probably stimulated uh, um, hominins also long, long, long before uh, during our 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 uh, long uh, long evolution, because. Uh, 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 vultures, especially vultures, uh, can uh, give a direct, uh, produce a direct uh, indication of uh, carcasses uh, in, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of meat, available uh, meat. <coughs> so, <coughs> so this was a, <coughs> a really stimulating uh, um, uh, finding, uh, which, uh, which uh, uh, I think uh, will be uh, additioned with the further findings in the in the future. In Fumana, in the recent years, we discovered other 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 um, bones from from birds, uh, other bony, uh, other uh, claws, and uh, all this material is in course of excavation. But uh, um, continuing about uh, the with the Neanderthal uh, behavior, this. Uh, Specific particular behavior, um, I, we have to to know that Neanderthal uh, um, used uh, explore the darkness, explore darkness, explore the the darkness of the of the cave, especially the of uh, one cavity, one cave, which is Brunichel. This is a famous famous discovery. Uh, um, occurred uh, in recent times. Uh, the, the cave is uh, over 300 meters long. There is a main tunnel and a big chamber. Uh, and in the in the main chamber, uh, archaeologists and speleologists detect the recognize the presence of these uh, cycles made with uh, fragmented speleotemes. And these speleotemes were stalked uh, in, the, in in points that were also. Um, um, earth were liked, and uh, the, then uh, this uh, structure was uh, um, consolidated and cemented by the uh, calcium carbonate. The uh, uranium thorium dating goes back to 174, 175,000 years. So appeared in the late Middle Pleistocene <coughs> when Neanderthals were the unique inhabitants of, of, of Europe. The, um, the function of these uh, cycles uh, is um, still unknown uh, because of, uh, uh, of the uh, inaccessibility, the inaccessibility of the floor of the cave uh, due to the deposition of a calcium carbonate. But uh, archaeologists exclude, exclude that uh, uh, the, these were uh, cycles uh, for, uh, for um, <coughs> uh, structure, for huts, and so on. Uh, continuing about uh, caves, uh, a debated, uh, a very debated uh, um, the datation is, uh, is uh, that one uh, proposed a few years ago, uh, based on the uranium thorium dates uh, of uh, uh, concretions uh, covering uh, hand stencils or uh, some some uh, some uh, paintings uh, discovered in uh, in uh, in uh, uh, cave uh, Iberian cave uh, caves in. Uh, in the Iberian Peninsula, and the stencils uh, is a typical uh, one of the most uh, most uh, known uh, known uh, acts uh, um, of uh, of our of our species, and uh, it is uh, um, um, 
quite difficult to uh, demonstrate in this case that uh, also Neanderthal made this, uh, this act uh, at minimum 66,000 six, years before present. But uh, a more consistent and probably more reliable evidence uh, was uh, recently produced by the same um, colleagues who dated uh, the Spelo teams in Cueva de, Arda de Ardales in south of Spain. Uh, you see these uh, ochre veils <coughs> sealed and covered. Five minutes? Ah, wow. Uh, covered by, by calcite. Uh, so I have to run because uh, now is, <coughs> is the time of Homo sapiens. Homo sapiens <coughs> entered in Europe uh, and, uh, and probably um, covering different uh, paths, uh, different, uh, di different, uh, different waves, uh, different migrations, and they, they uh, spread all over the, the Asian and the Eurasian, uh, Eurasian continent, uh, leaving uh, uh, beautiful, amazing uh, and, uh, uh, traces of the, of the, of the culture uh, in, the, in the west, uh, like in the southeast, uh, in Sulawesi, and they also left uh, clear evidence of a much, much big improvement of their culture, they sculpted the ivory, they made the flutes, uh, uh, they, they, painted the, they painted the stones, also in Fumane, and they were responsible, they were responsible for the, uh, the extinction, the cause of the extinction of Neanderthals. This is a <coughs> very nice, very nice uh, slide. Uh, and recently, in the, recently, about eight, eight years ago, the radiocarbon uh, was uh, much improved, the treatment of a sample and so the, it was possible to reconstruct the phases, the steps of the Neanderthal demise, the uh, presence of uh, the, the spread of um, uh, Homo sapiens, uh, and the extinction of Neanderthals, uh, which occurred around 40,000 years. And, uh, uh, but the traces and the, um, the history, uh, the biological history of this extinction has been unveiled thanks to the uh, DNA, DNA who would, um, uh, that uh, um, that uh, um, and uh, uh, would, uh, which demonstrates that uh, uh, we uh, we 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 uh, preserve a part of the Neanderthal DNA, but uh, uh, that was much more at the beginning of the f during the first settlements of Homo sapiens. A recent discovery, uh, this especially this one was. Uh, Produced uh, recently, uh, an old finding uh, reanalyzed, uh, re resampled, demonstrated that uh, Neanderthals were very, very close to this uh, first uh, modern humans who settled in uh, in uh, in, uh, in Europe and who contributed, uh, partly contributed to, to our 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 uh, uh, diversity. And the modern humans also uh, entered in Europe and settled in the same continent for a thousand. Uh, thousands of years because uh, uh, it has been shown eight years ago that Neanderthals and modern humans uh, co-inhabited Europe for 5,000 years, but recently in Gottmandren, uh, 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 the discovery of one tooth one tooth in the Kush in the layer E dating back to 53, 55,000 years completely changed the scenario and, uh, and uh, <coughs> demonstrated that uh, that uh, modern humans, uh, homo, homo sapiens, arrived in, in, uh, in Europe uh, well before expected. So uh, about uh, 10,000 years before, probably it was a, 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 a only an isolated wave. But the modern humans at the time uh, uh, were the bearer of uh, uh, eagle Clouds, uh, this, the, the Eagle Cloud we published in 2014 with uh, our colleague uh, Ludovic Slimak uh, in a time when we think that the Neanderthals uh, were the makers of the industry you see called the Neronian. And uh, this finding also, this new discovery also uh, stimulates, uh, stimulates the idea that. Uh, mm, also, Homo sapiens were interested and targeted the eagle claws. Eagle claws, uh, these bony cores were discovered in Bacho Kiro, dating back to 47,000 years, 45, and also uh, discovered in the Aurignacian, so in the Upper Paleolithic. So this means that uh, Homo sapiens continued to uh, 
to uh, exploit, to uh, partition wings, to partition ego clouds, to partition to to kept uh, to 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 kept and hunt uh, big birds. And uh, yes, I. I'm, I'm, I'm I close with this nice, uh, nice picture, and uh, uh, sorry for 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 taking uh, uh, too much time. But uh, uh, this is the end. Thanks. <laughs>